everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy Davis and I'm the owner of the Brinbach Golden Retrievers. You're very welcome. I have eight Goldens in total, ranging from spayed and retired to a 12-week-old pup. Um, I'm a home breeder, which means the puppies are born and raised indoors, and I enjoy making videos and vlogs of my journey and my life with my dogs. Um, it's also really nice for uh, puppy families to see the type of breed I, I am and to see the home and where the puppies are born and raised. But this vlog I thought I would do a video on the whelping bitch and signs um, of her starting labour and the three stages of whelping. Um, oops, this is Nancy's third litter, so she's experienced um, but you know, she was very calm and collected with her first litter, I remember it well. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you do, I would love if you considered subscribing, it's completely free. Um, but as a little YouTuber, it's always great to get some more followers, so that would be lovely. Okay, so we're here in the puppy room. I'm just going to show you our whelping area. This is our puppy room. There's Bear right there. Um, so it's just important to have a nice clean area. Nancy has been here for sleeping here for a week, so there's her whelping box. It's important to have the railings there so that when she's ex exhausted after um, giving birth, she can sleep and she's not, you're not going to have to worry about puppies being underneath her. They'll be able to move out and go in that area and that happens all the time, especially the first few days. So this is where Nancy sleeps at the moment. Um, big thing of water ready for um, the stage one, she will drink water stage one when she's panting and pacing um, and really important to have this ready, that's the heat lamp when puppies are born they don't have the ability to keep themselves warm so they rely on the heat lamp, their mother um, and m you know milk in their tummies to keep them all warm so that's really important, that will be on for probably about a week we also have the radiator here but on the table what I'll need is I will definitely use a towel. Sometimes puppies are born not breathing and you'll need to give them a good old rub. Towel, I'll probably have a couple of towels. Um, I have some gloves. Um, I have a thermometer. This is for uh, the days leading up. I will take her temperature twice a day and it will drop a degree 12 hours before the puppies are born. So it just helps me um, keeps me in the know of when it's imminent. I do have two scissors, um, this is for clamping, that's for cutting. I do rather my bitch um, cut the umbilical cord herself, it's just a lot more natural um, and yeah when you cut there's a, 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 you know, it bleeds and it's just not as nice but so personally I prefer it and I have a newspaper and lots more where that came from. It is a long process. I like to be with them for the whole thing. So I'll have a chair. And then once all the puppies are born and everything's looking safe, I will then make a little bed here and I'll sleep with them, uh, I don't know. It could be two or three nights, it might be one. I just use my own judgment. When I feel confident that everything will be fine, I leave them and I go back to bed. Um, so yes, that is everything I need. I may have left anything out something out. If I have, I will say it as I go um, through this video. Um, one thing to mention, make sure that you are well stocked with her food. Um, sometimes delivery is a couple of days, so make sure it's, she's well stocked, or you are well stocked, excuse me, because she's going to have huge amounts of food. Um, it can be all, you know, up to four times as much. All right, everyone. It is day 63, so it is due date. Um, it's important to note that gestation can be from day 57 to 72, but it's unbelievable the amount with me that go on day 63. So Nancy is in stage one of um, labor. Um, a couple of hours ago I noticed that she was shaking a little bit and shivering and now she started panting. So stage one can last anywhere between 6 and 12 hours. Um, Nancy generally is a little bit shorter so 
you know, I would definitely be expecting that these puppies will be arriving tonight. It is six o'clock at night on the 2nd of January. Um, and I will be sleeping with her. Oh. Uh, everything seems to have dropped her, her. Yeah, the weight has dropped down here low. And she seems a bit uncomfortable. She's panting and pacing and just doesn't want me to go anywhere. And Clover is scratching at the door wanting to come in. So yeah, that is, this is stage one. So um, stage two is when uh, the puppies are ready to be born. It's like the journey of the puppies and they're usually in uterus. They're usually facing kind of lying on their backs. So they'll have to rotate and travel and they'll face down when they come out or they should do. Many times they're coming backwards. Um, so I'm really looking for the mucus plug um, the cervix should be opening for a natural birth to happen. That is essential. So I am looking for the mucus plug. It's often the first sign. Now, Nancy is really a calm mother. I'm giving birth, she's calm. So she seems to be, I mean, this is as distressed as Nancy will get. She's shivering and shaking. I would think that the puppies are gonna be born sooner rather than later. So let's see, it's about six now. Let's see what time the first pup is born. Uh, so important to note as well, when the first pup is born, then every, you know, I'd like the next puppy to be born in an hour. And um, it has been at times two hours. The time just kind of goes quickly and I'm waiting for another puppy to, to be born. And then I, I'll probably phone the vet. If it's two hours, I'll phone the vet. Um, so let's see, let's see how we get on. Um, and stage two can be, you know, it could be six hours long. Um, I have had uh, puppies born in, th the whole litter born in three hours previously, so let's just see. But um, stage three then is after birth with the placenta. Um, coming out and often that will come out right after the puppy's born or sometimes it comes out it doesn't come out it comes out when the next pup is about to be born he'll get the afterbirth from the previous puppy um, and I do let her eat um, some of the placenta they say it's really good full of nutrients and it helps the uterus contract down after labor and it also uh, stimulates milk production so yeah, I, I don't let them eat all of it, but definitely a few.
we both look for us. One thing I forgot to say that you will need is a big black bag. Um, yeah, you fill it up full of newspaper that's sodden and mucus and a bit of blood. Um, anyway, she's pushing again, ready for number five. So all is going well so far. Um, I don't know what time it is, maybe five minutes. Oh, a quarter to ten. That's gone quickly. Are three hours and 45 minutes into stage two. Um, and she's now tired. Um, she's pushing for number six. Um, but just having a little rest. Um, there you go, you see, oh, there we go, sorry. You see her pushing. So hopefully number six will come. Um, it's fine for her to rest and build up her energy. <clears throat> yes, so they're all really good sizes. Really, really good sizes. Another little tip I wanted to say is I um, definitely latch them on um, for the first couple of days. So I will, especially when they're first um, born, um, they'll be latched on within seconds and they'll start uh, sucking. Um, I can actually feel a puppy quite high up here. Um, but I will just open their mouth and pop the teeth in. I'll squeeze a little bit of the teeth so that some milk comes out and then that encourages. So they have been, for three hours now, they've been feeding non-stop. Um, so that's important to do, keep latching them on. Get a bit of a close-up. Look at those babies. Okay. So I think a puppy's number six is gonna be born. Um, she was on the other side and she had her five pups like that. She was on that side for three hours. So, and this, she was really stalling with number six. So I moved the pups over and now they've come closer to her. And I've just turned her onto the, her other side and given her a little bit of a rub. And things look like they're gonna happen with pup number six. So, yeah, so, I mean, she was really falling asleep. <sighs> Who's made it around? So, hopefully number six comes out now and she can have a little breather. Good girl, she's more awake now. Important to note now, I wish I showed you before I washed her, but after a bitch gives birth, the day after, she gets, I mean, it's like dark green, blacky tar after birth mucus, um, quite a sticky substance. Um, and I use washing up liquid and warm water, and it will continue to come out for a few days. Um, I really should probably turn the light on, but yes, so I give it a good wash and a dry, and you'll be doing that for a few days. Um, so she's starting to get her appetite, and I feed her as much as she wants, and give her lots and lots of water. Her body's working overtime feeding all her puppies. I 
thank you so much for watching everyone. The puppies are now one week old and thriving. Um, I hope someone has found this vlog useful, um, especially if you're a first time breeder and you're just looking for some confidence to be as prepared as possible um, for assisting your bitch while she's whelping. Um, just remember to remain calm. Um, anything can happen, but just stay calm and be well prepared and make, make sure you clear your day because it is hours long. I'd love if you could consider, consider subscribing and check us out on Instagram. I try to post at least um, a few times a week, if not every day. Okay, thanks so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye!